when they contacted you, they probably didn't even say that they were the CIA, right? They sounded totally fake, dude. What, what totally. did they say exactly, if uh, you remember? Yeah, it was, a, it was a woman. She called and she was like, hey, we saw that you're applying to a federal job with you know the Peace Corps. We thought you might be interested in some other opportunities that are related to national security. Yeah. <laughs> We'd like to set you up with an interview in Washington, D.C. Uh, are you willing? And I was like, uh, can you tell me more? And she was like, well, what we'd prefer to do is have you come in person and I'll send you a hotel reservation and I'll send you an airplane ticket. Yeah. And I was like, you're going to send me an airplane ticket and yeah. a receipt for a hotel. And yeah. She was like, yeah, we'll have it overnighted to you. I was like, this is a scam. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Bells are ringing. This isn't yeah. real. This yeah. is no way. Scam likely. Yeah. And I was, so, I was, so I'm, like we all do with a good scam, we're like, okay, yep, sure. Just, yep. You. You already know my address. That's convenient. So, <laughs> yes, just mail it there. And then no shit the next day. Next day it came in. A rental car reservation, hotel receipt, and a paper airplane ticket. Bam. Wow. And um, when did it hit you that, okay, this is the agency. Hit me up. Uh, when did it connect? So about halfway through the first interview, when I was... Oh, so you didn't even know what to, until you got there sat down. There national security. I'm, I'm thinking like maybe FBI, maybe yeah. something. In my head, I'm thinking, I don't know if I really want to do this. Right? Yeah. But about halfway through that first round of interviews, when they were like, hey, what are you interested in? Tell us tell us about a time that you were particularly successful. Tell us about a time that you had to overcome adversity. We've all been through those interviews. Of course, dude, yeah. yeah. So about halfway through that, they were like, we think you might be a good fit for CIA. And I was like, <laughs> tuxedos. So you didn't know until they actually overtly told you we think you might be a good bet at this point you're just thinking it's some kind of intel arm because just it's, it's, it's some kind of national security arm yeah it could be dod still okay um and and just so you guys know because i know they're probably like what the fuck what, how could you not know who you interviewed for whatever how many intelligence agencies are there in the in the united there's states 32 right now there you go guys we have 32 intelligence agencies all with and different you know components that have different missions different structures etc so it's not uncommon for you to walk in and be like okay i'm not really too sure who the hell this is so if for those that are wondering, how could you not know who you sit down with? It's yeah. not like we're like Russia where it's like KGB and maybe one other intelligence. The United States has a bunch. 